we were surrounded on all sides. They had the high ground, they had machine guns, they had rockets, they had recoilless rifles, they had mortar rounds, they had everything except aircraft going against us. We knew instantly that it was, there wasn't just a typical fight that we were getting into on a day-to-day -day basis. Tom Rasmussen, a former sergeant in the United States Army. I was a scout, I did a tour in Iraq and a tour in Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, I was awarded the Silver Star and the Purple Heart for a pretty big fight that we got into on October 3rd, 2009. 7.15 in the morning, south of Dallas, heading south towards Austin, Georgetown to be specific. Chugging along down there, get down on this plane and meet up with Nile and get up onto Montana to get this hunt started. Now Maxwell is the sponsor for this hunt. He's coming out of Austin, Texas. He was the highest bidder at the Orvis show in, in Vegas. All of a sudden, I'm sitting there minding my own business. Jeff Chad and Thomas Rasmussen and the gang come over and they shook my hand. I knew from that instant I was in for a, a, one of the times of my life. Oh my God, look at this guy! What's up, buddy? How you doing, brother? Good, man, how you doing? Oh! Here. The trip we're on right now here in Montana, it's a mule deer antelope combination hunt. Thomas Rasmussen is our hunter. Getting him out here was the best. We're having a ball. I mean, he's having a great time. Right now, we're at camp, getting ready to sight in our guns, make sure that I don't have an excuse not to miss, even though I'm going to, a lot. could be any more perfect, really. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Just gonna yell at me because I'm gonna miss everything. Now we're here, getting ready to hunt. Be a good time. Get up bright and early, start getting after it. It's about six in the morning, maybe a little bit after. Getting ready to go chase some mule deer and antelope. Day number one. Hopefully we can tag out and just have fun for the rest of the trip. got done with one stock and some antelope. Uh, we busted them because Rob followed us and kept farting everywhere. Terrible, terrible hunter. Now we're looking for some, we're looking for some antelope right now. Jeb believes there's a big shooter in there. We're kind of glassing around. I've seen a lot of animals, um, nothing to shoot at. So hopefully we'll get on them soon. back for deployment in 2010. I was in a pretty dark spot. A lot of drinking, a lot of boozing, bar fights, just self-destruct mode. Um, I didn't understand a lot of what had happened over there. And in the military, you don't really have time to deal with it. So you, your brain just kind of rewires itself and you just kind of go haywire for a little bit. I, uh, I, I started going to therapy and I was seeing three doctors a week for almost a year trying to get myself back together and kind of clarify and understand what had happened and why it had happened. At the end of the day, it, you know, it happened for a reason. There's nothing I can do about it to change it. We were in Cop Keating, Afghanistan. It was a Northeast province. Um, we were the furthest, furthest cop in the Northeast next to Pakistan that there was. A gunfire started about six in the morning and we knew instantly that it wasn't just a typical fight that we were getting into on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we lost our first guy, Kevin Thompson, minutes into the battle. He got shot in the head by a sniper round. He was one of our mortarmen. Not too far into the fight, I hopped on top of the truck to get the gun rocking again. And uh, as soon as I did that, an RPG hit the front of the truck and threw me off the truck onto the ground. And I got up immediately. I didn't really 
know what happened when I sat down in the truck and I was like, oh God, what the f was that? And <laughs> it was, uh, and I didn't notice any pain or anything, but I, at the time I had, I had sprayed shrapnel into my hips and my, and my butt. Um, but I, the adrenaline was going so hard, I had no clue. All our machine gun positions were taken out, our mortar teams were pinned down. OP that was at the top of the mountain to kind of help us provide overwatch and suppress stuff like that, they were pinned down, they couldn't help us. So we were just on our own, just gun against gun. And they broke the perimeter of our cop. Um, we were fighting guys on our own cop, you know, doorway to doorway. And we are having grenade wars over walls and on our own cop. And we ended up pushing them back with the help of air support. And uh, 12 hours later, we took our cop back and the last shot was fired. For Battle of Camdash. We ended up losing eight soldiers that day, and I think we had 27 or 28 guys wounded out of the 52 total. He's right here. Good shot, baby. Good chair. Good shot. Well, first day out at Majestic Mountain Ranch. Just dropped his buck. Pretty nice buck. I'm still pretty pumped about it. It's pretty awesome. It's been a hell of a hell of a day. I'll tell you that. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I think Colors of Heroes is one of the cornerstone organizations for veterans that are struggling. If you get veterans in the outdoors in a non-judgmental environment, you can almost watch their head just release. They come out somebody else, and Colors of Heroes makes that happen. I really think this is unique because it's it's heroes helping heroes. I mean, Rob, what, what he's gone through, and he brings that perspective to his brothers. These servicemen who've been through so much, you get them out here in this setting, it's just amazing how they can open up, relax, kick back, and, and, and have the time of their lives. This is a, this isn't a nice buck, this yeah. is a hell of a buck. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, you got him! We depended on each other in the military, whatever branch you were in, and we relied on each other to keep each other alive, and that doesn't change when you get out. And, you know, that, that brotherhood and that camaraderie is still there, and if you want to stay alive, you know, you gotta ask your brothers for help, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's not a thing wrong with that.